Hi, I'm Steve Kennedy, and this is Music and Message. This is We Won't Bow Down. Under the cross, hiding there, under the wings tucked away. We look to the hills and cast them not cares. The pieces only found one way. Fearfully and wonderfully made for such a time as this. Truthfully say what we need to say. Enough of the Judas kiss. Oh, we won't bow down. No, we won't. Bow down, play like rain is light as air, shred like thunder, don't even care. Bowing down to Jesus, we'll be found. But when the music comes around, bow down, no, we won't bow down. What will it really take to change? Do you want to live a lie? Ignore the truth and just rearrange. Keep on walking by. While I'm the busy work until it burns. Don't even need to think twice. Oh, God will save who we have learned and walk us through the flames at night. Oh, we won't bow down. No, we won't bow down play like rain as light as air shred like thunder don't even care bowing down to Jesus we'll be found but when the music comes around a position coach in football in college football when we noticed that a couple players over the summer had made quite a bit of muscular gain to the point that we wondered about how those gains were made so the head coach unbeknownst to me hired a private investigator to buddy up with these guys and get their confidence and subsequently found that they were using anabolic steroids and they were kicked off the team. Now the coach could have turned a blind eye 
to this to this situation and reap the uh, benefits possibly of a physically stronger team, but he would have had to live with this conscience, his conscience concerning the matter. I remember that he talked about cheaters and how that unjust gains were were cutting corners or or doing the wrong thing that later and later in someone's life they would pay the price. That frankly, there are no free launches and hard work and perseverance were the best ways. So it was impressed upon me fairly early in my adulthood, the underlying truth that we are fearfully and wonderfully made for a specific task and purpose. And one should be very careful with changing the game plan. I went on to learn in pre-medicine and medicine the intricacies of our genetic makeup, the sweeping effects of hormones, working within the frame, framework of our genotype. A well-orchestrated support of good health that is pro provided therein. In other words, we're given an XY or XX chromosome. Most of us, given the vast majority, given an XY or XX chromosome. Um, that's we're born male or female. So then pro, it, it programmed into every cell of our bodies is the gen, genetic predisposition that is looking for a specific hormonal milieu that is best for that person's development and health. Look at it like this. In physiology, we learned about receptors, that specific shapes of hormones fit within these specific receptors. If one has a genotype, say, of XX, female, then the presence of estrogen and its supporting cast of hormones will trigger the best outcomes in development and health maintenance. Conversely, the presence of the XY genotype, um, born male, will have its best outcome for the individual expressed, supported by testosterone and its supporting cast of hormones. Of course, there's menopause and andropause, uh, now we're learning that well, by over-replacing hormones during this time period, there's also risks also. I have at least two examples in my mind. I was in residency and I was working in the emergency room. And um, I remember an individual coming in uh, with, with a female, female genotype that's transitioning to a male, suffering from a massive myocardial infarction or a heart attack. The only risk factor I remember at that time was the presence of tes testosterone added to the female genotype in transitioning. The addition of testosterone on an XX genotype for someone born female carries, carries with it alterations in lipids, cholesterol, and an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes. It seems that someone is signing up to shorten their life by about a decade. One of the other ex examples that is prominent in my mind was someone with an XY genotype, born male, transitioning to a female. This person had multiple presentations of vascular disease. The blood flow was blocked in the extremities and carrying a very heavy concern for strokes and myocardial infarction, heart attack. Plus, breast cancer and mood changes were worrisome. With gentleness and respect, I looked across the room with compassion and, and, and that's what this has to be rooted in. Gentleness, respect, and concern for the individual. I asked the person, how are you doing? How are you? A five o'clock shadow was shown in this, in this struggling transitioning person with palpable air of des de desperation and fear. And I, and I will carefully summarize what I remember of what was said in response. Something to the effect of, look at me, my life, my blood vessels are blocked to the point I have to sit down when I walk a distance. It's called claudication. And you, you, the blood vessels clocked up. You got to sit down because because basically angina down in, in muscles of the legs. I I need to get on disability support so I can't because I cannot support myself. I'm avoided. Old people superficially say, "Good for you." 
Good for you on your decision. I'm, I'm an outcast though in society and largely rejected by my family and people everywhere. And that, that's, this makes, he said, person said, this makes me depressed and feel hopeless. Please help me. With the additional hormones, there was a real concern for heart attacks and strokes and cancer. Now, of course, there are healthier outcomes than these examples. And people truly need to be more understanding. They really do. But the long-term risks of this pathway are evident. For those with gender dysphoria, it must be a terrible, horrible feeling to be uncomfortable in one's own skin. And my heartfelt compassion goes out towards those suffering. The manipulation of hormones, however, within our given genotypes is obviously fraught with unforeseen dangers. So I go back to my college coach and what he said, how the payment comes later for altering the game plan. The thought, thought that we are specifically and creatively crafted out of love for a very specific calling and purpose echoes in my mind. Could our pride in these matters result in disastrous consequences when our children are still learning how to tie their shoes and choose what clothes matches for a given day? Why would we even suggest pressing upon them ideologies that cause suffering, premature death, and untoward social consequences? when they just do not have the reasoning capacity or the wisdom to protect themselves from f future harmful outcomes. Hear what David in Psalm says, for you, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's wombs. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you. And I was made in a secret place, and I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts. God, how vast is the sum of them. So the psalmist is saying, if you caught that, that all the days were already ordained, were written in a book before one of them even came to be. How, how precious to me are your thoughts. We are designed for a specific purpose. And fearfully and wonderfully made. As far as presenting harmful ideas as healthy or normative, care should be taken on, lead, on not leading little ones in the wrong direction. What does Jesus say about cat causing little ones to stumble in any way? In Matthew it says, if anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them that a large millstone hung around, be hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Matthew 18, 6. Oh my friends, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. But surely the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So what does it take to really change? It takes a relationship with our creator. So how can we get a relationship with this creator? You know, one does life completely right. All of us come short of the glory of God. The best explanation I have found is found in the person of Christ where the sacrificial love of Jesus is found. And good, the good news, they lived a, a sinless life, suffered and died for us, and rose again on the third day. That story. Absolutely foolishness to the world holds the key in the change in our hearts and our lives. Making our peace with God and accepting that finished work is where I rest. And that power of resurrection gives us power to turn and change. See, it's the change in heart that is needed, and we just cannot do this on our own. As a nation, we are ultimately, if we are ultimately found to be weakened in the future from, from this pathway, how can we support ourselves and stay secure? 
Hey, there was a story about a king named Nebuchadnezzar in the Old Testament. He let the, his pride get the best of him. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold. He made a command that whoever didn't fall down to worship this image will be cast in a fiery furnace. Well, there's three guys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These guys, weird names, they wouldn't do it. They, 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 they said, we don't even have to think twice about it. They answer, answer you, king, in this matter. We won't bow down. Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from this burning, fiery furnace. And the king threw him in there, and God did. God sent his angel to walk them through the fire and out. And they didn't even smell like smoke. Not a hair was singed when they came out. So, we want to be free in this land of the free. So how do we encourage people to get free and lead in the right direction? Because we're leading, everybody's a leader. Got children around you? You're leading. We point to the one who can truly free us. When we diligently seek his face about putting down what it passes in change, then we can truly be free. So relationship with our creator is the issue. That is the change. That will change everything. Those of us who've had the mercy and grace of God to experience such a change should not bow down to ideologies that are not found in the way of truth. We should be gentle and respectful, but we just won't bow down. We won't bow down, no we won't bow down Play like rain as light as air Shred like thunder, don't even care Bowing down to Jesus, we'll be found So when the music comes around been music and message. May your peace be profound. May your peace be profound beyond understanding. And may you and your children truly be free in this land of the free. Like rain is light as air, shred like thunder, don't even 